thank God that there's a name that I can call. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. <laughs> Make known his deeds among the people. I call him Jesus. That's Jesus, his name. Jesus. Jesus. That's the name. That's the name. I call him Jesus. 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 That's the name. That's the name. It's all. What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Beta from Is He A Ruin Radio, and we are here with another segment of our podcast. We are still responding to Jehovah's Witnesses. But before we get there, before we dive into the Bible, well, their Bible, which isn't a real Bible, but before we dive into the content, let's do a little bit of housekeeping. First thing we want to do is subscribe to the channel if we have not already done so. So if you're listening to this video and you have not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, okay? Go ahead, hit that subscribe button, help the channel out. Just go ahead and click that button. And we also want you to click that bell so that you can receive notifications when we upload a new video or have a new live video that is being uh, shot or, uh, or a new video that is being premiered. All right. So go ahead, hit subscribe, hit that bell. And also a couple more things. We also want you to hit the like button. Let's engage. Hit the like button. You can hit the dislike button, too, if you want to. But why would you? Why would you? But go ahead and engage. Either way, we need engagement. We want engagement on this video. And last but not least, leave a comment. You know, again, I don't care if you leave some emoji hands and that's all you do. But let's leave a comment because that helps this video stay on the algorithm it helps the video continue to be seen by other youtube subscribers it helps it stay on their 
you know, in the forefront so that they can ultimately click on it and be blessed by the teaching that's about to go forth. All right. So thank you so much for complying. I'm grateful for you. Now let's get to the content, baby. So in responding to Jehovah's Witnesses, one another another objection that they have. Well, first, let's talk about the first two objections that we covered. We talked about a couple of objections that Jehovah's Witnesses come up with as it pertains to the Holy Spirit. They say that the Holy Spirit certainly isn't God, but he can't be a person, let alone God. Why can't he be a person? Because the Holy Spirit fills people and the Holy Spirit pours out. And we demonstrate it using the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible that that is a crappy argument. Another objection that comes up from Jehovah's Witnesses is related to Jesus the Christ, where they say uh, Jesus is a created thing. He's a created being. So, of course, he can't be God. So we are going to use their Bible and debunk that claim, particularly when they use Colossians chapter one, verse 15. You know, he's the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. We're going to go through some things using their website only to debunk how they interpret that scripture. Well, let me not say only because I do have a couple of other facts that I would like to throw in there, but let's get to it. Okay. So let's let me share my screen. Okay, share. And I'm going to go to Colossians chapter one. All right. Okay, who created what? Jesus is the first created thing. This is what they say. Ah, 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 ah. Well, let's see. Colossians chapter one. Verse 15. Here we go. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. Now, the way this is interpreted in Jehovah's Witness doctrine is that Jesus is the first created thing. And then after he was created, all other things were created which is why you see in their verses next, they've inserted the word other, this right here, because by means of him, all other things were created. And we see that other places. All other things have been created through him and for him. Now we know that no other translation, no other reliable translation says this. I actually did a video with Rob Bauman where we go through how we know they translated these verses wrongly this verse and other verses so be sure to click on that video but for right now let's just go through colossians chapter 1 verse 15 or you know verses 15 through 17 and talk about how we know that this is you know that jesus is not a created being and we're going to use their uh website for the most part but let's exegete this a little bit he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, because by means of him, all other things were created in the heavens and on the earth. The things visible and the things invisible, whether they are thrones or lordships or governments or authorities, all other things, because Jesus, you know, was created. So no matter what it is, other than Jesus, all other things have been created through him and for him. And he is also also, he is before all other things, and by means of him, all other things were made to exist. I will say, as I've said a few seconds ago, that the word other does not belong here. They've inserted that, and we have a complete long video that covers this verse and others that demonstrates how we know that we have no reason <laughs> to insert the word other in this text other than someone creating a false religion who has a doctrine, a false theology, and they are editing scripture in an attempt to demonstrate that their teaching is accurate. So that's what this is. That is why they've added the word other here. But I'm going to stay on the Jehovah's Witnesses website 
And I'm going to go to the kingdom interlinear translation of the Greek scriptures. This is where, uh, I'm sorry, this is where the Jehovah's Witnesses attempt to demonstrate that they have some credibility in how they translated the scriptures. So I took them up on their challenge and decided to read through it and let's see what we find. Dun, 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 dun. So using their interlinear that is supposed to be more reliable. Let's go to Colossians and let's go to chapter one. And we see they have, you know, these uh, these Greek letters and these Greek words beneath their uh, English translation, which, again, is supposed to demonstrate that this is a reliable translation. If you know Greek, let's go down to the very verse that we read as far as verse 15 and see what we have here. Who is the image of the invisible God, firstborn of all creation, because in him it was created the all things in the heavens and upon the earth. Visible. All things visible and all the things invisible were the thrones or lordships. Or governments or authorities, the all things through him. And into him, it has been created. And he is before all things and the all things in him, it has stood together. So as we see here on their website, when they attempt to be more credible, what happens? They appear to be a little more credible because when using the Greek, they know that they have no reason to actually insert the word other. We are on the Jehovah's Witnesses website where they insert the word other in Colossians chapter one, verses 15 through 17. But when we use their Greek interlinear, we see that it's no longer there because it does not belong there. I pray that this helps you if you are ever engaging with the Jehovah's Witness, if you are ever presenting to a Jehovah's Witness, or if you are a Jehovah's Witness who the Holy Spirit is pulling you out of that terrible situation. You have my prayers, my brother or sister in humanity. All right. So let's talk a little bit more. I'm not done. I, I, I'm not done. So I'm done with the interlinear for right now. Let me stop sharing my screen. I would like for y'all to uh, see my face when I say this, but I'm going to share my screen again. All right. So we know that we know that Jesus being the firstborn of our creation, it, these verses, it says all things. So, excuse me, Jesus can't be the first created because the verses say that the first creation was something else. What I mean is everything was created. The Bible says that all things were created. So that's all things. So if all things are created through Jesus, Jesus can't be one of those things that were created. So if you're arguing that Jesus is a created being, when was he created? Because the Bible says that all things were created, including the Jehovah's Witness Bible, when they have the Greek interlinear there to hold them somewhat accountable. So we know that the firstborn of all creation cannot mean the first created being of all creation. That's not what that means. Let's go back to their Bible. Let's go back to their Bible. And, and I want to unpack something. Whether. All right. So it's clear that I have the position, the accurate position that scripture teaches that all things were created through Jesus Christ because Jesus is not a created being. He was not the first created. And then a bunch of other things came on. But let's just go with what the Jehovah's Witness argument usually is, which is that he was the first created thing. He was the first created being and all things were created through him. That still means that Jesus is creating. That still means that all other things were created through him. Let's see if we can read their Bible and see if that is consistent. Let's see if their Bible, although they have a because they have a corrupted Bible. Let's see if their corrupted Bible was corrupted enough to cover that up because they tried to cover up a bunch of other stuff, but humans will be humans and humans will mess up. 
And the humans who tried to edit the Bible and create the New World Translation messed up because they have a doctrine that says that Jesus created all other things. So Jesus still created. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Let's go to their website. Back to their website. Share my screen. Boom. Boom. Share. I said, I said, boom, boom, share. I said, I said. So we're going to Isaiah chapter 43, verses six through seven. Let's go. Isaiah 43, six through seven. Isaiah 43, six through seven. I said, Isaiah 43, six through seven, six, six through seven, six, six through seven. Jehovah speaking. I will say to the north, give them up. And to the south, do not hold them back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth. Everyone who is called by my name and whom I created for my own glory, whom I have formed and made. So clearly we see that according to the Je to the Je blah, 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 to the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible and scripture, Jehovah God is creating things. He I mean, everyone who is called by my name, who is called by his name. And whom he created for his own glory, whom he has formed and made. That makes sense. All right. God created them and formed them for his glory. All right. That makes sense. Let's let's read down. Let's go to verses 20 and 21. The wild beasts of the field will honor me, the jackals and the ostriches, for I provide water in the wilderness, rivers in the desert for my people, my chosen one to drink. The people. The people whom I formed for myself so that they might declare my praise. So we see, according to the Jehovah's Witnesses Bible, that Jehovah God is creating and he is forming. He's doing his thing. All right. OK, I got you. Let's go down to verse 24, though. Let's go down to verse 24 and let's see what is being said here. In verse 24, it says, you did not buy me sweet cane with your money. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm like, that's not right. I'm supposed to be in Isaiah 44. My bad. All right. Isaiah 44, verse 24. So we see that Jehovah is creating, right? We see that Jehovah is forming, right? We see that's what Jehovah is doing. And remember in Colossians 1, it says that all other things were created. So Everything except for Jesus was created by Jesus for Jesus through Jesus. Isaiah 44, 24. This is what Jehovah says, your repurchaser, your repurchaser who formed you since you were in the womb. I am Jehovah who made everything. I am Jehovah who made everything. I stretched out the heavens by my self. And I spread out the earth. Who was with me? This is what Jehovah says, according to the Jehovah's Witnesses scriptures. I am Jehovah who made everything. I stretched out the heavens by myself. What does by myself means? That means all by my lonely. I, uh, uh, what? Just me, baby. Just me. Jehovah God. The Jehovah's Witnesses teach that Jesus is not Jehovah God. See, in Trinitarian doctrine, we understand what this means. When Jehovah God says that I created the heavens all by myself, and then we see in Scripture that the heavens are the work of Jesus's hands. And we see that all things were created by Jesus, through Jesus, for Jesus. We understand that because Jesus is also Jehovah God. So therefore, that makes sense. Jehovah God is multi-personal. That makes sense. That's why we that's why we came up with the word Trinity to help us describe the divine personhood of God. However, the Jehovah's Witnesses creators and and Bible, per, the Bible perverters, <laughs> they have attempted 
to demonstrate that Jesus is not God because all other things were created. You know, the heavens were created through Jesus because that was created after Jesus. Everything was created by Jesus, through Jesus, for Jesus. However, in Isaiah 44, 24, we clearly see here that Jehovah is saying, I am Jehovah who made everything. I stretched out the heavens by myself. And I spread out the earth. Who was with me? Nobody. No, 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 nobody. <laughs> Y'all feeling me? So we can demonstrate using the Jehovah's Witnesses website that their doctrine is not supported through their Bible. Even in a corrupted Bible, we see that Jesus is Jehovah God. Because even when they insert the word other, which we've demonstrated that it's not in their Greek. We've demonstrated that. But even when they insert the word other, this verse still only makes sense if Jesus is Jehovah God. <laughs> Man, look at how amazing God is, how sovereign God is, that God can author his word. And even when humans come together to corrupt it, they can't quite corrupt it enough because the truth still comes out. Wow. Wow. So Jehovah did it all. Either Jesus is Jehovah or we have a contradiction in scripture and what the Jehovah's Witnesses call scripture. We got another one. We have another one. Let's stay here. Let's go to Nehemiah chapter nine. Nehemiah chapter nine. Okay. Do I need glasses? I think I do need glasses. Why did I click on them? I'm not live right now, so y'all can't point it out for me. Yo. Oh, here we go. <laughs> My goodness, that's terrible. <laughs> that's crazy. All right. Nehemiah chapter nine, verse six. Now I can't find verse six. All right. Nehemiah chapter nine, verse six. What does it say? It says, you alone are Jehovah. You made the heavens. Yes. The heavens of the heaven of the heavens and all their army, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. And you preserve all of them alive. And the army of the heavens are bowing down to you. Jehovah made it. Jehovah sustained it. But in Colossians, it says that Christ, all of these things are created and sustained. So either Jehovah, so either Jesus is Jehovah or there is a contradiction in what the Jehovah's Witnesses call scripture. Wow. Wow. We just read Nehemiah chapter nine, verse six, where it says Jehovah. <laughs> Where it says Jehovah, I mean, you preserve all of them alive and the army of the heavens are bowing down to you. You alone are Jehovah. You made the heavens. You made the heavens. Colossians 1, 15, first one of our creation, because by all means, all other things were created in the heavens and on the earth. The things visible, the things invisible. It's going through all of these things, supposedly other things. But we already showed you in the Greek interlinear that it doesn't say all other things. All of these things were created by Jesus, through Jesus, for Jesus. Yet their Bible says that Jehovah did it all by himself. In Isaiah, it says that Jehovah did it in Nehemiah chapter 9. Mm. Wow. Wow. Either Jesus is Jehovah God or the Jehovah's Witness Bible contradicts itself. The Jehovah's Witness Bible does contradict itself because they know because the creators know that the Bible teaches that Jesus is Jehovah God. So they edited scripture <laughs> to attempt to demonstrate that uh, <laughs> that Jesus is not Jehovah God. There will be a part two to this video. So make sure you tune in. We are going to unpack what firstborn means. All right. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. Is he a real one? Yes, he is. And the he that we talking about is Jesus, y'all. A, A, Amen.